Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about how to upgrade SQL Payroll System. When you open up your SQL Payroll, as I mentioned earlier, this is the version. The last three digits, you can see that now is 136. Beside of here, another place that you can check your version is when you're in SQL. At the left bottom over here, you also can see 136 and also under help about SQL Payroll, you also can check the versions. Now, imagine 136 is a very old version and you need to upgrade the versions. So you need to have maintenance with the dealer then the dealer will give you the latest versions. So once you receive the latest versions, let's say it's 141, what you need to do is, the first thing is you need to uninstall the current version. So to do that, you need to go to my computer, C drive. Normally, for SQL standard, we will install SQL in C drive, eStream, SQL payroll. For accounting, it will be SQL accounting. So maybe if you come to the same directory and you cannot find it, it's because you install SQL in another directory. So basically what you need to do is just look for that directory and you should get the SQL payroll folder. Once you go in, there'll be three folder. Bin is all the files located. DB is your database and share is for networking purpose. So what you need to do is you need to go to the bin folder. There's a lot of things. Just click on one of them, then click U. What I want you to do is look for this exe file. It's called UNINS uninstall 000.exe, not the .dat. It's exe, it's the application file. So double click on it. Okay, so it asks whether you want to remove it. Yes. So remove. Then you can see that bin folder automatically deleted. Now, please make sure when you do this process, no one is logged into SQL and SQL already closed for server or if you are in the network and environment, then all the clients also need to close SQL. So just in case, okay, you can after uninstall, you can still see the bin manually delete the bin folder. No problem. Okay, so after you confirm that bin folder is deleted, then only you do the installation. Let's say you do not do uninstall properly, then you directly go do an uh, installation. Sometimes it will crash the system. It may have problems later on. So don't do that. Okay, uninstall first, then only install. So double click on the new version installation files, run, do the installation as normal. I accept. Next, so you can see that normally it will replace the previous directory. So next, click yes, or it will be the same. So next, next, install. It's very simple, straightforward installations, just that you need to uninstall the previous version first. Then after the installations, what you need to do a proper way is you should log into all your company. So for example, now I only have testing company. So what I want to do is I want to try to log in one time. So try to log in one time. And if your version is quite old, sometimes it will say that your database version is 89, then latest version need to be 91. So what you need to do is you need to upgrade the database yes do remember once database is upgrade there's no way to turn it back so that's why i always encourage customer to do a backup before they do the upgrading okay just in case anything happen your computer suddenly shut down during the upgrading process your database is crashed you still have the backup file to restore back else if you do not have backup file then things happens then everything gone Okay, please make sure to do the backup first before you do it, uh, the upgrading process. So once you can come in, 
basically it means that your upgrading is successful now so if you want to do upgrading you should have a maintenance with your dealer if you do not have so and you wish to buy SQL payroll or accounting system or sign maintenance you are feel free to contact me directly once again thank you for watching I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies thank you Thank you.